What's up guys welcome back to my channel i just wanted to start this vlog really quick so <clears throat> as you can tell <laughs> as you can tell by the title i am doing a two-week workout challenge at first i thought oh i'll do like the chloe ting whatever and i was like no i just get so bored when i start something like that like i just honestly get bored of the workouts i just like being able to switch it up every day that i work out and i can't even tell you how many times I have tried to film a video like this, a video where I work out consecutively for two weeks and that is so sad. I opened up in one of my videos a few back about like how insecure I'm starting to feel with my body and I just want to get to a place where I feel happy and healthy and confident in my body. It's not even about losing weight, it's about just feeling better. So <laughs> even though I have tried this video an insane amount of times, I just felt like personal things just kept popping up and like derailing it completely. But this time I have a buddy, <laughs> my friend Janessa is doing this with me. We're eating clean and we have like one cheat day a week and we are gonna work out every single day in some capacity, no matter what it looks like. So with one rest day too. So anyways, I just wanted to start the vlog. I have to hop on a work meeting, but right after I get off, I'm leaving to go work out with Janessa and her boyfriend Marcus so obviously we'll see the end results but I'm really excited and I feel more motivated this time and since I have a buddy I think I think that I can stick to it it's so silly because like you should be able to do anything for two weeks right I don't know I'm gonna take it a week at a time I'm just gonna tell myself like you can do anything for one week so anyways that's what this video is I hope you guys enjoy it I'll show you some of the meals that I'm making and stuff too along the way and let's uh get those summer bodies going you know what I mean Instead of the quarantine 19, let's, let's lose it, not gain it. I feel like I've gained it. I feel like everyone probably feels that way. But you know what? Who cares? We're in a pandemic. Snack if you need a snack. So, Woo. what's up, guys? It's the next day. I just got back from the grocery store because I realized that I forgot a lot of things last time that I went. So, I got all the groceries that I needed. Take three. I just got back from the grocery store. I'm starving. It's like... 11 o'clock I think is it really wow it's like 11 o'clock I need to make breakfast and all that good stuff but last night I did work out with my friend Janessa I didn't take any videos of it we went to this guy's house who has this whole wing that's just workout stuff so he has like this full weight room turf hot tub sauna it was crazy so I worked out there and we did arms mostly um and I ran like a little teeny teeny bit I really need to build up my cardio because I know that's what's going to make the difference with me because running track like the majority of my athletic years I feel like my body just learned to respond to running so I need to get back into running but I wanted to jump here and just show you what I was making for breakfast um, I haven't worked out yet I think I'm just gonna TMI started my period so like I am not feeling it and I'm cramping and just not in the mood to work out but I'm still going to I think I'm just gonna go for like an hour long walk because walks are good for you and it's not an intense exercise but it's still moving my body so I'm gonna do that and then I think I'm just gonna do like a 10 minute ab workout and that was that's gonna be my workout for today so anyways for breakfast I feel like I want a smoothie so um I'm going to make one. I'm using this Body Bloom by Sarah's Day. I think my gut health is honestly like really messed up. So this is supposed to help with your uh, gut health. So I just put some of that in here. And yeah, it's supposed to help with digestion, skin, and well-being. So it's a good source of pre-probiotics, promotes a comfortable digestive system, and promotes glowing, healthy, smooth skin. And honestly, I read so many reviews about this and everyone like says the same thing, that they love it. So I'm just going to put that in my smoothie too. Ooh, okay, this is what it looks like. Nice and brown. We love that. Hello, everyone. Sorry, I'm going to talk really loud because you probably hear my Roomba going in the back. Our Dyson vacuum recently broke and I don't know how to fix it. So I have to figure out what to do with that because I'm pretty sure they have a warranty. I just need to figure out what I need to do. So our Roomba is going so it's loud. So I apologize. I'm just checking back in because it's 3.30, so I'm done with work because I started at 7 this morning. And for lunch, I was going to show you, but I made it just in time for my last meeting of the day, 
but um, it was chicken. It's gone now. It was chicken and broccoli, um, and that's what I had for lunch. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go for a walk now for about an hour, and then um, I'm gonna go over to my friend's house to watch Listen to Your Heart. If you watch that, let me know what you think. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna go watch that tonight with her. So I think, I don't know if I'm gonna eat dinner there or not, I need to ask. But she's doing it with me, so she should be eating healthy too, so it shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, I'm gonna go for my walk now. Hi guys, it is the next day and I just woke up feeling really sad this morning. I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of things going on and I don't know, it's just like one of those days where I really just don't want to get out of this bed and honestly it's a good thing that I work because if I didn't have to work I probably wouldn't get out of this bed. Um, so yeah, it's like 7am, I'm gonna get up and start working just to make myself get out of bed. But yeah, every day is not happy and it's like really hard to want to work out and be healthy and all that kind of stuff when you're just like and when you don't even want to get out of bed you know so usually in situations like this I tend to eat the worst because I'm a very emotional eater and I know that's not healthy so I'm still gonna try to eat healthy today because I felt good the past few days eating healthy and I know that I need it and I know that my body needs it so just not gonna give in to the emotion and <laughs> I'm still gonna try to eat healthy I need to work out still it's just like really struggling to bring myself to do it I don't know I guess everyone feels like that every now and then so I'm just gonna do one of Chloe Ting's workouts today so maybe I should go outside and get some sun to make me feel more I don't know, up, <laughs> but I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do one of Chloe Ting's workouts and call it a day. And I'll probably do that on my lunch break after I've done some work and have felt even slightly productive, so. Hi guys, so got out of bed. So, you know, one step at a time. I made some, um, whoa. Made some avocado toast with an egg on it. I eat that for breakfast every now and then, but honestly, I'm just not feeling it. I feel like everything today, I'm just like full. So I'm hoping I my daily harvest box arrives soon because it has a bunch of yummy food and smoothies and I don't have to cook and clean dishes and stuff after <laughs> eating it. So hoping that arrives soon, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I did get out of bed and I am eating a decently healthy breakfast and I'm gonna work for a little bit and let my food settle and then I think for my lunch, I'm gonna do the workout. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm just updating you guys. <laughs> guys, remember my last clip how I said I hope my daily high-risk meal arrives today? Literally five minutes later, I heard like a thud at the door so I went and checked. It's here! How exciting. Really quickly. Um, it's so funny because my mom just texted me. My mom used to do bodybuilding um, and she did more of the like physique stuff for women and she's like, do you wanna do the meal plan and the workouts with me and stuff? And I was like, sure, I got nothing to lose. So now I'm doing that. But now that I got this box, I'm thinking to myself, can I no longer have daily harvest if I do that? Cause I love making daily harvest, <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> So we'll see. I feel like some of it is probably going to be fine. I feel like the smoothies will probably be fine and I just add protein to the smoothies. But I don't know about the rest of it. We got banana green smoothie. I got two of those. Ugh, wow. I got the mango papaya smoothie because that sounded yummy. Most of these are smoothies. I got the banana, spinach, cashew, peppermint. Wait, no. I'm like reading you the ingredients. I got the mint and cocoa smoothie. I'm really excited to try that one. Um, this one is the strawberry peach smoothie. Again, just like, I'm just a smoothie drinker. I love smoothies, they're just so easy. The cold brew smoothies are my favorite. I got both of them, the cold brew almond and the cold brew cacao. Like, they're so good. I love their cold brew smoothies. 
and then they changed their packaging up i really like this another banana green i didn't realize i got so many banana greens um and then i got a bowl one of their harvest bowls it's the spinach and shiitake grits Ooh, i have a call okay continuing and then i have an oat bowl this is the dragon fruit one it's like my favorite and then my favorite harvest bowl is the um sweet potato and wild rice hash and i think that's all oh and then i got one of their flat breads the artichoke and spinach spinach flat bread so yeah that's what i got from daily harvest So I'm gonna put all that away. I'm gonna do the Chloe Ting workout and then I'm probably gonna have one of these smoothies as like a mid morning snack cause I ate kind of early. So I want a little snack. So I'm probably gonna have one of the smoothies for a snack. So I'm gonna go do the Chloe Ting workout now to make sure I get my workout in. And then <coughs> at night I'll probably go for a walk too. So I will do my workout now. Man, just got done with day three, workout three. I just did like a 15 minute hit and I am so out of breath. And it's crazy that in that 15 minutes, I still burn like 150 calories in just such a short period of time. Hello guys, I have made lunch. This is what lunch looks like. It's the artichoke and spinach flatbread that I got from HelloFresh and you just throw it in the oven for a little. So I'm gonna eat this. I haven't had it yet, I'm excited. Um, it's pretty good. I don't mind it. Wouldn't eat it all the time, but um, not bad. Nice, healthy, so I'll take it. What's up guys? Day three? What day is it? No, it's Thursday. Day four of working out every day for two weeks. Something else that I'm doing that I find extremely helpful is that I'm drinking a gallon of water a day. This is what I got. I ordered it off of Amazon. It costs like $10 or something. So I've been drinking a gallon of water a day. Every night I fill it up and put it in the fridge and it usually stays pretty cold because I drink it kind of quickly. Um, I try to stick to the tiny increments because I know that it's not really beneficial to just drink so much to where all you do is pee it out and it doesn't really go into your body. So I'm trying to do better about that. I've been eating super healthy. This morning I had one of my um, daily harvest smoothies and I'm feeling really good. I'm gonna go for a run. I still am in this like emotional fog and it's making it really hard for me to be motivated and excited, but Fitness is one of the only things that I can kind of control about my life right now. So I'm taking this seriously and doing this for myself. And hopefully that helps with everything else that's going on. So um, I'm going to go for a run. I've really just been focusing on cardio more so than strength training because I don't really have any weight. So I can't really do it anyways. And I feel like what my body needs is to get in shape cardio wise. I feel like I'm already really strong and i just need like better cardio i think i'll just feel more accomplished when i can run for a mile and not feel like i'm dying so i'm gonna go do that and i will check in with you guys for day five wow guys it is a beautiful day here in california it is the morning time and i am not cold i feel like in indiana if you run in the morning you still kind of have to wear a jacket because it's chilly it feels amazing here so i love that for me i'm gonna go for my run now and i will let you guys know how it goes i'm gonna try and this is so sad that i struggle to do this i'm just such a mental case that it's hard for me to run but i'm gonna try to run at least a mile without stopping <laughs> let's see if i can actually do it though <laughs> hey guys i did it I ran a mile in under 10 minutes which i'm sure to some people sounds terrible but for me that's a big deal i tried to be to run a mile last week and I didn't even make it half a mile. So I'm proud of myself for pushing through it and doing it. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna try to add like a mile and a quarter. So one more extra lap around the track and um, I'm excited, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling motivated. I'm doing my cool down walk now and I will catch you guys in day five. 
Guys, it's honestly so crazy how that mile just like made a whole difference in my whole day. I just feel so accomplished and I feel like it did like a huge boost for my self-esteem. I feel like I've just been really down on myself lately and upset and feeling like I'm not enough. I'm not good enough. And then I like look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, wow, you really let yourself go and you're not as in shape as you used to be. You don't look the same. And I've just been beating myself up so incredibly much. And I think it's taken a toll in like all aspects of my life. And just by telling myself today, you're going to run a mile and then doing it, I just, it just did so much for my self-esteem. It like makes me feel like I can make promises to myself and I can keep them and that I can push and push my body and that I'm capable of achieving things. And it sounds so stupid because it's literally a mile. Like my brother and his girlfriend run like eight miles every day and they're crazy and they can run marathons. And like, here I am being so proud that I ran like a nine minute mile, but I, it just like changed my whole day. It changed my whole mood. And I just think I needed that. Like, I really feel like I needed that win. And I mean, obviously you guys don't really know what's going on in my life, but like the truth is like my life isn't always happy and I do struggle with a lot of things and recently I've been struggling with a lot more than normal and deciding to go on this like health journey I think could have come at a better time because I feel like finally this is something that I can control, something that I can commit to, something that I can make myself proud of and like show myself that you are capable and you are good enough and you can do those things. So I don't know. I just really felt like jumping on here and saying that. And I literally like still went and walked another 30 minutes before I came home. Um, Cause one, it's a beautiful day. And I think being outside and it feeling so great really boosted my mood. But I was just like in such a good mood after, like I just didn't want to come home. I just wanted to keep walking and enjoying my day but obviously I can't walk all day because I have to work and it's time to clock in for work but I don't know I just wanted to jump on here and say that and you know everyone's always at different levels and I am so bad at comparing my life and myself and like every aspect of honestly anything to other people I just stopped doing that and this was just a win for me today and I think I really needed it and I just want to share this with you guys because this is real and I feel like, you know, I watch so many fitness stuff on YouTube all the time and it's just like, oh, I'm never going to be them. And it's like, oh, this is so easy for them to do. And I want you to know that this wasn't easy for me to do. It's not easy for me to do. I'm shocked I even have made it four days in a row without stopping. And every day, obviously, I haven't been doing these huge big workouts, but every single day I've been committed to the healthy food that I'm putting in my body and I've been moving my body in some way, shape or form and I already am starting to feel better and I'm just proud of myself and tomorrow I'm going to push myself again and the next day I'm going to push myself again and I just feel like this is finally something that is bringing me joy so that makes me really happy and I just hope that it's an encouragement to you guys, to all the people who are starting from square one and they aren't already these fitness models showing you these workouts and all that good stuff. So that's it. <laughs> I'm off my soapbox. Hey guys, it is day five and I'm gonna go for another run. I think I'm just gonna try to run a mile and then walk for a while and just enjoy this nice weather. This is the day I look forward to, the part of the day that I look forward to the most. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll check in when I am done. Hello everyone. It is the sixth day and I'm taking tomorrow as a rest day or more of an active recovery day where I'm just gonna go for a walk. But I think I've decided that I am just gonna end this video here because I think I just kind of want to document this like bit by bit and this was my first week and like my first step towards bettering myself and my health and I think for so long I've just been pouring and pouring and pouring myself into other people that I just kind of forgot like <laughs> to take care of myself so yeah this video is just the beginning of my fitness journey I guess and I'm gonna be making more so I'm just gonna end it here. I'm not even gonna bother doing it before and after I did lose three pounds. 
in six days, which I feel like is pretty good, but also my weight usually fluctuates, but I've, it's been the same. It hasn't really been changing. It's just been going down. So it's a good start and it's encouraging, but I am going to end the video here and in my next video, I'm going to try my mom's uh, meal plans that she used to do and I'm going to do Chloe's Ting, Chloe Ting's two week challenge at the same time. So I just decided to make those like a whole separate video because that would just be a lot going on. So uh, I hope this was real and I hope this was raw and I hope that you guys can relate to it. And I feel like I always struggle watching <laughs> workout people on YouTube because I just don't relate to that. Um, <laughs> I just don't. So I'm really proud of myself for being so extremely committed for an entire week. I have been eating clean, drinking a gallon of water every single day and working out for at least 30 minutes every day. And that's something I haven't done in a really long time for the number of days in a row that I have this week. So I'm really proud of myself for keeping those promises to myself. And I'm looking forward to what the rest of this journey is gonna be like. And I hope you guys enjoy coming along and I hope those who are in similar positions as me um, have fun doing this with me. Like we could do it together and encourage each other. And I don't know, I just feel like in this season, God's just teaching me a lot about independent joy and loving and caring for myself, I guess, because it's so easy to stop doing that. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm literally gonna cry and I don't know why. <laughs> so um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next little series of videos. So. Catch you next time.